existent module. Uh, they are uh, covered by a synovial membrane and it contains a fluid called synovial fluid. This information just to let you know what is synovial joint. Otherwise, it's not asked in the exam. But the synovial joint are articular cartilage. This articular cartilage allows movement, allows movement and uh, provides a less friction environment to the ends of the bones which are formed at joints. We study how the escalate joint like the loose again, the end nachshe. Okay? And also it absorbs some shocks at joint during movement. Like at how was it, 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 this articular cartilage absorbs some of this shock. Now, it was a big area. Also, in other area is found is coastal cartilage. You know, the uh, thoracic cage is made of 12 pairs of ribs. The anterior end of these, this is the articular cartilage. For example, this is the hip joint. Uh, this is the upper end of the uh, femur bone. The area shaded in blue uh, is articular cartilage, which is found between the pubic bone and the upper uh, or head of the femur. Uh, this is the articular cartilage. The second one, this is thoracic uh, cage. These are the ribs, the their anterior ends, which connects or which joining the sternum, you know what sternum, collecting, is made, this joint is from the cartilage. The anterior ends of the ribs and the sternum. This, because it is, a, uh, uh, it is soft and it, uh, it gives an, uh, a space or a, uh, expansion environment to the uh, thoracic cage during the respiration. Also, the cartilage is found in the wall of the air passages. For example, the trachea, the large bronchi, all these uh, have the rings or patches of the cartilage, which gives support and maintains patency or patent airway uh, during the respiration. Cartilaginous component of the ear, lower part of the nose, and epiglottis. Here in this area, it gives a shape. So it is. It has another function of the shaping. If there is no cartilage in our nose and in our ear, the shape of the nose and ear uh, be like uh, something uh, like paper or something flat. Yani, which shape you need? Because the cartilage, the cartilage, the shape of the nose. And also, it allows bending, jari to so it gives a bending to this structure. This is the airway, this is trachea, and these are main bronchi, secondary and tertiary bronchioles. And these uh, blue rings are the cartilage, the hyaline cartilage. The histological uh, or the main characteristic of the cartilage is it, uh, it withstand both pressure and cool. Also, its ground substance, the matrix, which is the main component of the cartilage, is solid but softer than that of the bone. You know the hardest tissue in the body is the bone. The second one is the cartilage. So its matrix, the matrix of the cartilage, gives uh, uh, it contains ground substance. Uh, it's solid, but it is softer than the bone. Together, the cartilage with the bone form the skeleton. The human skeleton is made from mainly from bone, plus the cartilage, uh, as you saw in the uh, previous uh, images. Highly resilient and capable of bearing considerable weight and some rigidity but remarkable flexibility. Zoal flexible, but I'm not a rigid. 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 I'm not a r
حمي أكا جوز كده كشيني دو أواني كشيني كتسني هالنقطة. بلا it is solely to some or due to some extent. Consists. This is important histologically. It is consists of what? Like any connective tissue, it is consisting of cells, fibers, and ground substance. So cells, fibers, and ground substance. The, uh, these are the component of the cartilage. The cartilage develops during embryogenesis during the fifth week. Fifth week. And it is originating from mesenchyme. So where does, uh, where does the cartilage is uh, originating from the mesenchyme, which is primitive connective tissue in the embryo? The mesenchyme cells differentiate agore, botchicellic chondroblast. Chondroblast. The chondroblast, its main function is secreting the matrix which surround and entrap the cells in lacrimal spaces. So, the, let's say the main component of the cartilage is the matrix, which is initially or basically or, uh, secreted or produced by the chondroblasts. And chondroblasts are originating from the mesenchyme during the embryogenesis. The old or the mature chondroblasts will be wrapped, uh, trapped, sorry, trapped in a space called lacuna or lacuna, and they are uh, mature and inactive cells. While chondroblasts are young, active cells. The embryo skeleton is made entirely from hyaline cartilage. This is important to know. Yani, I will let you the embryo, uh, the, uh, the skeleton in the embryo is made of, for example, reticular, nasal, fibro cartilage. Then it will be replaced by bone in a process of uh, ossification. Dr. Lozan will uh, discuss this issue for you in the next lecture. Remnant consists as broad space and articular cartilage that I talked about in the first slide. Yani hamu hyaline cartilage a big bone. Types of cartilage. There are three types of cartilage. The commonest type is hyaline. <laughs> the hyaline, then we have elastic and fibro cartilage. The commonest type is hyaline type. One, they are classified or categorized into three different types according to the fibers predominates in that type. For example, hyaline cartilage is, the fiber which predominates here is type two. You know there are more than 20 types of um, collagen fibers, but the most commonest one is the type one, two, three, four. Yet that's what zor zor balam, awan For hyaline cartilage, the type two is the predominant fiber. Elastic cartilage, it contains elastic fiber plus some collagen fiber type 2. Fibro cartilage contains collagen type 1. Russia, the collagen type 2 is found in both hyaline and elastic. But elastic is the main fiber here in the elastic plus collagen fiber type 2. From outside, both hyaline and elastic cartilage are covered by a layer of connective tissue called perichondrium. Hyaline and elastic cartilage are covered by perichondrium, which is a layer of connective tissue. Oh, I mean, it's perichondrium, it's a layer of connective tissue. It is connective tissue there. Essential for vitality of the cartilage. Oh, essential is you, the vitality of the main point about cartilage with them, it is a vascular tissue. Yeah, blood vessel in here, blood vessel can be true that for the way a nutrient by the matrix, matrix, so if we have a cell can, through perichondrium. Okay, so. So, 
the hyaline and elastic both have pericondia. With one exception for the type 3, which is fibrocartilage, it has no perichondrium. Neity. Tasha? Perichondrium is a dense, irregular connective tissue. A bit also than perichondrium, and we have a connective tissue. That's a bit hard to eat a blue, dense, regular, or dense, irregular. So the answer is dense, irregular connective tissue. The perichondrium by itself is from two sublayers, outer and inner. The outer one is fibrous, containing fibroblasts, which is the main cells in the connective tissue proper, or azami. Also, it contains blood vessels, which supply the cartilage with nutrient and oxygen. Hwata, perichondrium yaglernia gulera, outer and inner. Outer one, gushtikia. Mainly fibroblasts and blood vessel. Blood vessel, like I just mentioned, which is a bit more complicated. It's actually, actually a vascular. And the blood vessel, I mean, it's not easy. Okay. Okay. The second layer or the inner layer is chondrogenic. Chondro in Latin it means cartilage. Genic it means formation, synthesis, production, or any term like this. The inner chondrogenic layer consists of chondroblasts. The main cells in the inner layer of perichondrium is chondroblast. But I'm still a cani outer tube fibroblast. That's a important role in the formation of a new cartilage. This is very important for the maintenance and growth of the cartilage. Chondroblast found in the inner chondrogenic layer of perichondrium. Now let's talk about each type of cartilage separately. Hyaline is most common type of cartilage in the human body. From the surroundings. Surroundings. Okay? Uh, for temporary skeleton in the embryo, this is a repetition of the previous slides. It's found in adults at specific sites. Zoya, example, account for hyaline cartilage. كأي كما نستك وعد لزوج شين نيلا تدو بديا نيزل سيركم لارينس تريكل رينس برونكاي أرتيكول سيركس أو برون بون يعني لساينو بيل جوينت كان لبستن ستيرنال إنس أو ريبس أو كلو كمان أنتيرال إنس أو ذا ريبس نفس ستيرنال إنس ذاك يعني يعني جوينت أكان ستيرنال أو ستيرنال إتس كريت إتس كريت Calcify and ossify in old age and in skeletal diseases. Well, normally in old age, it undergoes calcification and ossification. Is can I in old age? However, the most important points about hyaline cartilage is the terminus type, the embryo. Skeleton, how we hyaline cartilage? An example can be a bizani, and the old age is undergoes ossification and calcification. As you see in this image, most of the areas shaded or colored in blue are for the hyaline cartilage. In Japan, it's not so. An external end of the ribs or anterior ends of the ribs. The articular cartilage, uh, cartilage in the synovial joints, and the joint, the shinkrao, hip joint, knee joint, ankle, intercostal joints, all are, all these are hyaline cartilage. Zadaka elastic, Abu Suraka, Lebel Zadaka spiral cartilage. Hyaline cartilage, so when how cartilage can be a vascular? It's a vascular tissue covered by perichondrium, a long vascular, but absent in articular cartilage. Cartilage exceptionally clear for hyaline cartilage. In all it man, how no hyaline elastic cartilage perichondrium in here. Well, for hyaline cartilage in certain area there is no perichondrium, which is articular cartilage. So here. 
this is the answer for your question about the uh, articular cartilage. However, you are asking me about the fibro cartilage. In this area, it gets its nutrition from the synovial fluid. Then I will join the cartilage here, fluid here, give you the synovial fluid. While the oxygen there will achieve on articular cartilage. However, it is hyaline cartilage, but lacks the pericondrium. And this pericondrium, it manages irregular coinage tissue, and when you get the irregular ziacate, which can get a bass neck with the resin slide, it is treated with the irregular type, containing what? Blood vessel. Beside the blood vessel, there is nerve lymphatics, and it is essential for vital, vitality of the cartilage. Chondroblasts are young active cells located at the periphery, secretes fibrous matrix substance. Calium at the periphery, it means in the inner layer of what? Of the perichondrium. When you? This is a um, section of the hyaline cartilage. This is the cartilage of the, from the uh, periphery we have, or from the outside, is covered by this layer of perichondrium. The inner layer of the perichondrium containing chondroblasts. The rest of the cells here, you see, are chondrocytes. That's a zonine chondrocytes, which are trapped in these spaces or lacuna. Kavata chondroblasts matrix They are located at the periphery. And they are small, young, active cells, like you. Chondroblast, its main function is secreting fibrous matrix. Our matrix is the Kaka, Alirea, matrix, Amboshayana matrix, in which the chondrocytes are embedded. Each chondroblast undergoes mitotic division, maybe one to two, maybe one to two times. It's so one cell you rise to two to four, or sometimes to eight. The cells will be gathered together, they form a mass of cells and trapped within a single lacunae, forming what's called isogenous group. It means all the cells which are found within the same lacunae are originating from the single or the same mother chondroblast. Tasha? It contains type 2 cartilage, uh, fiber. <coughs> if you look to this lacunae, Amstavasha space care, it contains the pencellamine, penchondrocytamine. Pian Otria, this group or group of cells is called isogenous group. Uh, they are originating from single chondroblasts, which underwent the mitotic division. The aslayet chondroblasma, tabaj bojjari, kudujjari, sejjari, chwaja, giving to this number. Nevertheless, here if they are not equal in number, yani not all the lacunae containing the equal number or the same number of the uh, chondrocytes. This means the chondroblast here, for example, here uh, there were two mitotic division. The result is four chondrocytes, and so on. The second type, elastic cartilage, which is its matrix is containing collagen. Uh, plus collagen type 2 plus elastic fiber. It doesn't calcify or ossify in old age. But on the higher line, you and that ossification and calcification. Gotcha. It is uh, found here, found. I was talking to the other It's found where extra flexibility and support are needed. And the Lushina here, Lushina here, Katniss bending. Flexibility and support, like external ear, nose, epiglottis, auditory, or stachium tube. Let's show you an elastic cartilage here. It has perichondrium, like hyaline. Mm -hmm.
uh, it has perichondrium similar to the uh, hyaline cartilage and single chondrocyte within single lacrimi uh, found and with very few isogenous groups. It means the isogenous groups are not found in the uh, like the uh, hyaline cartilage in such number. Yeah, the zornia, zornia, which one of them can yet chondrocyte here, as you see. Each lacrimi contains single chondrocytes. Basho? Kawata Fakatani, the girl, hyaline cartilage area. The matrix contains elastic fiber. Second, it has, uh, it, it doesn't undergo ossification and calcification. Third, few isogenous groups found. Majority of the lacrimi contains single chondrocytes. The third type is fiber cartilage. It has feature intermediate of irregular density. Yeah, I mean, now we have a trying to cartilage, a hyaline cartilage, and now it actually has regular connected tissue. Feature a cannon, the head to cannon shape. So it is intermediate to both irregular dense fibrous tissue and hyaline cartilage. It is consisting of alternating layer of cells and thick layer of collagen. As you see in this image, alternating layer, as the layer of homocella, layer of Matrix or allies. So alternating layers of cells and thick layer of collagen. The matrix is uh, rich in the thick uh, bundles of collagen fibers. The fibers are uh, oriented in the direction of the functional stress. A direction fiber can be حمولي أو ستريس ك ك فضلت It contains few chondrocytes. As you see, the number of cells here is very few uh, uh, in comparison to the previous two types, the hyaline and uh, elastic. No perichondrium found in these areas. These are vertebrae. In the vertebral columns between the, in the uh, two adjacent vertebrae, there is a disc called intervertebral disc. It is made or formed by fibro cartilage. In the surface is pubis or pubic surfaces. The joint between this right and left pubic bone here is made of fibro cartilage. In the meniscus, meniscus or meniscus, the singular, in the knee joint, which are two C-shaped cartilage, are found also. So you must memorize these three locations for the fiber cartilage. And the important point about it, it is it, can, it has no pericondrium. Basha. The second type of supported connective tissue is the bone. It is hard as tissue uh, in the body, and its main function is support and protection of the vital organs. For example, the skull is made of bone. It protects the brain, which is very vital, delicate uh, organ. Also, the lungs and hearts are uh, surrounded by thoracic cage, which is mainly made by bones. Uh, the ribs are the spine. Also, it harbors the hematopoietic tissue, the bone marrow within the epiphysis of the long bone and also in the medulla uh, of the bone, in the, between the thin plates of the flat bones, there is a spongy bone. Uh, the spaces of um, this spongy bone is uh, filled with the hematopoietic cells. Bone marrow field there. It forms a system of liver and fully that multiply and focus the contractile forces of muscle of Artesia. But uh, this, uh, it means the, the movement in the joints, big joints, is made of bone, and it makes this uh, equation as a multiplier effect of focus aluminia. This is an area. It forms a system of liver and food. The bone matrix functions as an important storage type for types of bone. The matrix of the bone is uh, rich in the mainly in the calcium and phosphate. 
So it is a storage for these two important minerals. So type of bones. There are two types of bones. Woven, uh, woven and lamella or other. You can't write here a lot in the talents. Yeah, mature, mature bone. Woven bone is immature bone. Immature bone in which the collagen fibers are randomly arranged and rapidly formed bones are found in, the, in these areas, in these uh, locations. Moving bones here, immature bone, the collagen fiber are randomly arranged, not in a regular way. Russia, they are found in fetal skeleton, yeah, fetal bone, also in healing fracture site, if you take hours, the healing process and the growth is many steps. The newly formed bone, which uh, heals the fracture site, is called callus, and it is formed from woven bone. It is immature bone. Then it will solidify and then it will a little bone. Also, in this, these are in two normal situations, but sometimes in disease cases, in project disease, also the, bo the bone becomes soft, brittle, and that goes, yeah, with easy pressure, it may uh, break. In the project disease, they are called for the wounded bone. Also, in the bone is the adult bone. In which the fibers are arranged as a regular parallel band. The fibers, the fibers are randomly arranged. While in the other one, lamella, lamella it means layers are mm, uh, surrounding each other or regularly arranged as, uh, around each other. And uh, so the fibers are arranged in regular parallel bands. Types of lamella for adult bone. The adult bone, this is anatomy. Adult bone, we have two types uh, adult bone, regular bone and irregular. Regular bone we don't want to count, okay, it's the best sample. For example, maru, humerus, radius, or tibia, or shana. And they are made of also another I mean, regular bone anatomic, uh, anatomical uh, terminology. But on contact bone, histological bone. How do you have Einstein? But on the anatomy, Ziatin Kalimi regular bone, the carrier bone. And contact bone, histological and by the little basic. Irregular, you have flat bone or spongy bone. It contains spongy bone. Parts of long bone, as it's shown here, and this this is a long bone. It's adult bone, long bone or regular bone, a triangular regulation. It is consisting at the center, it is an elongated or mm, cylindrical shaft. This is shaft or diaphysis of the bone, zero or tire diaphysis. Then uh, on both upper and lower end, there is a bulbous, yeah, rounded structure called uh, epiphysis. And uh, a small area joining diaphysis with epiphysis called metaphysis. A small region connecting the diaphysis with the epiphysis is metaphysis. And this is the articular cartilage, which is made of hyaline cartilage. The diaphysis is cylindrical with the wall of compact bone. The wall of the diaphysis is the wall of the diaphysis. It is a compact bone. Now, it is a big bush. It is a bush. It is called medulla. Medullary cavity. So, the wall of the long bone is exactly in the diaphysis is made of compact bone. And it is lined with endosteum. 
from inside, the compact one is uh, covered by uh, a layer called endosphere. The epiphysis contains mostly spongy bones. Okay, let's start with some curves that we did. Whitman, this is Ahmed Awdan, the Venetian. Come on, I'm going to tell you about it. Whitman, the regular bone, the compact bone, the regular bone, the spongy bone. How about the spongy bone? The chair, the irregular part of the chair. Lebanese is the long bone, the epiphysis containing spongy bone. Spongy bone where bones contact other bones to form movable joints. Their surface is covered by articular cartilage, which is hyaline cartilage. Now, the general composition of the bone, the uh, bone is connective tissue. So it is made of, or it's composed of cells and cells and fibers. 99% of the body calcium is stored in the uh, bone. So it is hardest tissue in the body. So you know, no calcium, they just need a manager and a cousin cousin. So the cells in the bones are four. Osteogenic or osteoprogenitive cells, osteoblast, osteocytes, and osteoplasts. The cartilage is the cell number, but the bone then we have matrix amadua. Matrix is composed of two components, organic and inorganic. Organic is fibers. Type 1 and type 4. Collagen fibers are found in the bone. Balance the three type one. Type one and four collagen fibers are found in the matrix of the bone. The non-organic mineral, it means the calcium and phosphate found in the ground substance. And and the ground substance. Kawaka non-organic chichia, mineral atana, phosphate, calcium, plus ground substance. Ground substance, and then shanam could kill water. In Bamalumati the Sara. How many glycoprotein are in the matrix which are essential for the vitality or the maintenance of the matrix? That's the ground substance. The organic effect between the fibers is the amino acid. The organic effect is the calcium phosphate. Ground substance. Bone differs from other connective tissue in having large quantity of inorganic salt. The bone cells, there are four types. First is the osteogenic cells, it means bone forming cells. They are mesenchymal stem cells, uh, similar to the chondrogenic cells. They are derived from the mesenchyme and they are found in the inner surface of the periosteum and endosteum. Uh, similar to the cartilage, the bone is covered by a layer of connective tissue called periosteum. But the second layer is added to the bone, which is endosteum, because bone is, it has a lumen or has an, another compartment, which is medulla. So both sides, parts, or both sides of the bone from outside and inside are covered by a layer of connective tissue, which are uh, Periosteum and endosteum. They are, they are, the uh, osteogenic cells are spindle shaped cells with pale cytoplasm and ovoid nucleus. They divide and differentiate into the osteoids. They are active cells and they are very important because they divide and they differentiate, giving rise to another cell which is called osteoblast. I will examine the molecular origin of the tree, the mesenchymal one, in origin. And 
and uh, it, it divides and depletion into osteoblasts. Osteoblasts, bone forming cells found in the growing surface of the bone. In the perosteum and endosteum. Father, they have to, they have the osteum, endosteum to here, and now all I compare the bone to here, there or uh, of the osteoblasts. Yani, they form one cell thickness and uh, shape, and they are dividing cells synthesizing the organic component of the bone matrix, similar to the chondroblasts. They are active cells, they can divide, and they can secrete and uh, synthesize the, uh, the uh, organic component of the bone matrix. They are large, rounded, or cuboidal cells. Large, to go to or round cell, give basophilic cytoplasm, the cell, and that goes division, and it, uh, it has an activity of the for formation or synthesis of other cells now, they have basophilic cytoplasm. It means uh, its cytoplasm is rich of rough endoplasm, reticulum, and Golgi apparatus for the Golgi complex. Away with him the osteoblast, the two have from the osteoprogenitor cells, where they are located at the periphery of the bone, exactly under the periosteum and endosteum layer. Second. Second, they are rounded and cuboidal cells, the basophilic cytoplasm. And their function is to divide and synthesis and secrete the uh, organic component of the uh, bone matrix. Once surrounded by matrix, osteoblasts are considered mature and called osteocytes. Can go to the pila the end and our rusty bone at all, the Nanda Cunia, Hapsa, the Nuka, or the osteocytes. As you see here, this is a piece of bone under the microscope. It is uh, discovered by a layer of connective tissue called periosteum. On its inner surface, it contains osteoprogenitor cells. Once they divide and uh, uh, differentiate into osteoblasts, osteoblasts always found at the periphery of the bone, while in the innermost part of the bone is osteocytes are found, which are trapped in these spaces. Osteocytes are branch cells, smaller than osteoblasts, and do not divide. This is important. They cannot divide. Because it is mature, but it is a maintenance of the bone, and so they are not dividing cells. And they are terminally differentiated bone, mature. يعني ها وكنا قرنا بمشكلتي كا كان نوعي بفرشيت السلف ماتشور السلف. They are found in the cavities in the bone matrix called lacrimae. Then we find branch cells. أو branch cells ما بتصير. أو يعني أنا بيزان يعني بس على يومين يبغوا زان branch يعني. These cellular process كأو branch يا كا are important. You know the bone is hard and thick. So, the process of each osteocyte are extending into canaliculi. Canaliculi, yani, ukujogali zor bari bari. In the Kalisar is the Kshantani and the Rasma. Yes. These are the spaces which are containing the the osteocytes. These fine hair-like uh, projections are uh, are canaliculi, containing what? Containing the process of the uh, osteocytes. They are joining with the process of the adjacent and surrounding osteocytes. يعني يقوي. غي أم دجاجة وأم جورا وأم تبجلة كنا شيء كبة نشيو أم دجاجة كنا نجيب يا كابي شيء بنايا أما بروسيس شيء أم أستوسايان.
Through this process, they gain their nutrient and or the nutrient and oxygen rich each individual osteocyte. The death of osteocytes result in bone breakdown, resorption. Level of the main function of the with man, main function of the uh, of the osteocytes is the maintenance of the bone. Had cat the osteocyte damage movement between the bone and there was resorption. But there is a cell which is uh, responsible for the death of the bone is osteoclast, the fourth type. The osteoclasts are bone resorbing cells. Bone resorbing cells. That lie on bony surface in a shallow depression called hardship lacrimi. And the surface of the bone. This depression and shallow, it contains large multinucleated cells, which are osteoclast cells. The osteoclast cells are large multinucleate cells that are containing from 1 to 50 nuclei. They are derived from the blood monocytes. And they fuse together and the cell wall will be disappearing. Only the outer cell layer uh, will remain uh, of the uh, outer cells. And the nuclei will be dispersed in the, in the or distributed in the sheet or the cytoplasm of the of these fused monocytes. However, it contains about 50 nuclei, multinucleated motile cells. It has a cytophilic cytoplasm. 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 It means this cell is rich in enzymes. Enzymes. They are derived from fusion of blood monocytes. The cells release acid collagenase and other lipid enzymes. Where we can acidophilic cytoplasm. It contains these enzymes, collagenase, her acid or the metabolism explained, her enzyme it means it, 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 it causes lysis, degradation of the, of the substrate. So collagen is it means it degrades the collagen fibers. And other lipid enzymes into the compartment that break down the bone matrix and release minerals in a process called bone resorption. The osteoclasts are found in all bones in all human beings. In adults, healthy people, they are silent, they are inactive, but with aging, especially in women, they start to uh, become active uh, after the age of menopause, yeah. I mean, after the age of 50. And in men, uh, uh, you are lucky, about uh, 60 or 65. It depends on the body bulk and the nutrition and the activity of that person also. So these osteoclasts are in balance with the osteoclast activity. The young, healthy people are osteoclasts are uh, main uh, cells playing a role in the maintenance and the, the vitality of the uh, bone. But with aging, the osteoclast starts to become active and they start this bone resorption. Another uh, image showing this is the osteoclast. If you are comparing its size with the size of the osteoclasts and the osteoclasts, it's very large. Uh, bone matrix containing both organic and inorganic component. The organic component is osteoid. Osteoid is the organic component. And inorganic component is bone mineral. The organic component uh, contribute or constitute about 50% of bone volume. Yeah, any organic component that can be the fibula uh, mineralized uh, matrix and uh, fibers that are uh, contributing about 50% of the bone and 25% of the bone weight. 
ام اورجانيكا كا يعني بوني ولين بوني منا اقل بيان صد جرام بي بوني منا صيد ستوكين جي بي تكي تي اورجانيكا صيد حتى في تكي اون اورجانيكا كي كبريتي من الرا ام رقم انا نتفور في مرايز يعني في ذاك اللي بني كي بلا هذه زانا كالي وزي بون ديشو يا ان اورجانيك كومبون تكي كبريتي من الرا Also, it contains type 1 collagen fiber and a mineralized ground substance, which is composed of protein, carbohydrate, and small amount, and a ground substance. The inorganic is mineral. It may average 50 percent of bone volume. However, the bone volume, the bone volume. Is composed of organic and inorganic. Fifty uh, percent is organic and fifty percent organic. But the, in the uh, it differs in the volume. Compact bone. The outer part of the long bone is uh, formed by uh, by compact bone. The periosteum is a layer of dense connective tissue covering the uh, bone from outside. It is similar to the perichondrium. It's composed from outer dense fibers and inner cellular layer. The cell, uh, cellular layer catches in osteogenic and osteoblast. The inner cellular layer, Aomohima, attached to the bone by a special type of fibers called hercolagen fiber of their narrative, the Sharkis fiber. Sharkis fiber. Sharkis fiber, chuchet, inner cellular layer, interosteum, with the bone itself. Endosteum is a cellular layer lining the bone cavity. Also, it contains osteogenic cell and osteoblast similar to the interosteum. Hydration system, there are cylindrical structures which are running with the vertical axis of the bone. Uh, and the lumen of it contains both vessel lymphatic and nerve. And uh, it's surrounding by concentric layers of thin lamellae or thin layer of bone. As you see here, this is compact bone. I read the osteum and the endosteum. Amashian metal layer. The Haversian system contains a canal called Haversian canal. أو يكها بطمان بلد بزوم يربو لفاتح فيها. These hydration canals are joined through an oblique or transverse canal called Bortmann's canal. Then we have external circumferential lamellae, internal circumferential lamellae, and interstitial lamellae. أما نسين أم لاملي أنها البون بليتن. This is an ostium. The lumen is called Haversen Canal Ana. And Haversen Canal with Mamala Gazulu near the Fatikitia. A concentric layers or lamellae surrounding a manica in the lana, thin layer, thin plates of bone surrounding the Haversen Canals. Chitia, I make a barrage a dini, a mana, osteocytes in another unit. Analytic analytic. Start the same. I'm okay. I'm a harder than canal was the same. I'm a yellow layer. I'm a blue layer. Yellow layer. I'm a concentric lamellae. I'm a concentric lamellae. I'm a concentric lamellae. Millions of these harder than or osteons are found in each uh, uh, bone or in the compact bone of the any bone. I manage the cellular process of the osteocytes. Uh -huh. The adjoining with the adjacent process of the or the process of the adjacent cells and this process running through the canalicule. In this image, this is the haversian canal, and this one is a way of the Walkman's canal. And the canal they for the same how we were. Bone 
Kunji or Franz was born. There are three dimensional structure. Franz was born away it has a spaces and it's surrounded by interconnected nerve plates or bones. They are called trabeculae. Found where in the epiphysis, a baby sponge bone, the epiphysis area, also in the core of short bone. Short bone canal and bone of the hands of the metatarsals and flat bones of the skull and sternum. The pink layers are corresponding to the trabeculae of bone, and the white area is the uh, bone marrow space, which is full of with hematopoietic tissues, both forming cells. And as you see, there is no osteal system or haversal system in the uh, spongy bone. This is the differential point between the compact and spongy bone. And thank you.